Hey YouTube! So today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to make an X-Base candy cup. It looks like this, and these will be the cups that you can also turn into 3D cups. So this will be a 3D. I'll be making two tutorials, one on just how to make an X-Base and the other on how to turn it into a 3D. A 3D just consists of the X-Base underneath, so right here's the X-Base, and then the outside is the 3D part, which I'll do in another tutorial. And also, when you're done making your 3D, you could also add little perlers and make cute little sets or just individual cute ones. Let's get started. Okay, so the first part of your X-Base candy cup you're going to start with is we're going to start with just this bottom row. So the two orange, one blue, two orange, one blue, and so on. So we're gonna start with this. And what you're gonna do first is just grab a piece of string, um, maybe about an arm's length or so, I use 0 0.7 stretchy clear string. Let's give it an arm's length. Then just cut it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to use whatever colors you want to use for your X base. I'm using pink and green. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to put on two of whatever color you want the most to be. So I'm going to do green. So put on two green on your string. And then for the color you want just the two little dots, I'm using pink, and then just add one on. And you're going to continue that pattern, so add two green, and then one pink. And you're going to continue that pattern until it fits your wrist. So now that you made it that it fits your wrist, you want to make sure that it ends, that the pattern will continue. So make sure you end in two, and then one. So make sure you end in that pattern. So what you're going to do is you're just going to move all your string down to one side, like so. And you're just going to tie it like a single. So tie it two to three times just to make sure it stays. And you're just going to cut the littler piece of string. Now what you're going to do is it should look like this. So now the part of the X space we're working on will be this bottom part where these three beads are. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your string and you're going to put it through because it should be coming out over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it through this bead right here. So one of the ones that would be a blue one on this one, you're just going to put it through. So mine are pink. So you're just going to put it through with no beads on the string. And you're just going to pull it all the way through. Now you're going to add three of whichever color you're doing the more of. So mine is green. So add three green beads onto your string and since your string is coming out of this pink bead you're going to put it through this pink bead over here and then pull it make sure it's nice and tight and now it should look like this so we're going to do it again so you're going to add on three green beads and then because your string is coming out of this bead right here you're going to put it through this bead right here and then just put it through and pull it nice and tight and now it should look like that and just continue to do that all the way around okay so once you have your final three beads on the string so it should look like this now so once you have your three final beads you're just gonna put it through this pink bead right here I'm gonna put it through Pull it nice and tight, make sure it's all nice and tight. Okay, so it should look like this now. So it should look like that. Now what you're going to do is it's coming out of this pink bead right here. So you're going to put it up two beads. So you're going to put it through this bead and through this bead. And this will be your point bead. So just string it up through this one. And then again through what will be called, I'll call it your point bead. Like so. Pull it all nice and tight. So now your string should be coming out of your point bead right here. So now what we're going to work on on our X base is the three beads that have the one blue and then the two orange. So, one. so now what you're going to do is you're going to put one green bead or whatever color you're doing for the majority of your cup and then one pink which will be those two blue on this one and then another green so you'll put this pattern on the string and then just put them on the string 
like so. And now you're going to put it through. So it's coming out of this point bead, and you're going to put it through this point bead over here. You're going to put it through your point bead and then pull it. So then it should look like that. So we're going to do it again. You're going to take one green, one pink, one green. You're going to put it on your string. Whoops. And then, since your string is coming out of this point bead, you're going to put it through this point bead. So then put it through. Put it through this bead right here. And then pull it nice and tight. So now it should look like this. This is what it should look like. And you're just going to continue to do that pattern all the way around. So now, when you have your last set of three beads, what you're going to do is you're going to put it through this bead right here. So, I'm just going to put it through this bead right there. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take your string and you're going to weave it up this green one into this pink one. This will be your new point bead, the pink one. So you're going to take your string and you're going to put it through the green bead and through the pink bead like so pull it nice and tight and this is what it should start to look like so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put two whichever color you're doing the most of so green for me you're gonna put two green beads on your string and you're gonna put it through so your string is coming out of this pink one you're gonna put it through this pink one and then pull it nice and tight because this is the row that it should start to come up into a cup. See? Like that. So that's what it should look like. We're going to do that again. So put two green beads on your string. And then since your string's coming out of this pink one, you're going to put it through this pink one. So then just put it through. Pull it nice and tight. And now it should start to look like this. And then just continue to do that until you get to the end. Okay, so now you should have your final two green beads on your string. Since your string is coming out of this pink bead right here, you're going to put it through this pink bead right here. So you're just going to put it through and then pull it nice and tight. Make sure it's all super tight. And now we're just going to tie it off. So how I tie it off is you're going to put the string under this string that is connecting these ones right here you're just going to put it under and then it should make a loop and then just one string so you should have a loop and a string and just make sure it's still nice and tight and then what you're going to do is you're just going to tie it in a knot so you should, you're going to tie it two to three times just to make sure that it doesn't come undone just tie it and then you're just going to cut off your extra string. And there you go. So that was my tutorial on how to make an x base candy cup. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped. Please subscribe and like this video. Bye.